Alright, in this video I'll be showing you how I get ready to upgrade the version of Ubuntu on my computer. My preference is always to do a full new system install rather than upgrading. Yeah, you can upgrade, but there are sometimes little quirks that appear. So I'll start with taking a copy of all my home folder. And that is pressing Ctrl H in Nautilus, so you get the full list of all the folders here. I've shoved that across to another drive of my system, the data drive. And that's a copy of my old home folder right there. So with that, I can recover all my documents and most of the settings. But what I also do with the settings is using the Ubuntu One Cloud Storage. Let's go to a couple of these folders. So under Config, you see I've got a folder synchronized there. That GHB is Handbrake, got Inkscape, Mumble. So all those folders can be immediately restored when I log back into Ubuntu One. And the great trick with that is I get to keep the same config file across multiple Ubuntu-based computers. They're all scattered across throughout the various hidden folders, so like Easy Tag is there, Lucky Backup on its own folder, Themes, oh that's just one I have to retain certain themes that aren't installed by default. So yeah, it's quite a nice, neat little trick to do that one with the cloud storage. And as a further method to make sure I retain all my data, I've gone and backed up with Clonezilla across to my NAS. There's a video of how to use Clonezilla on my channel. The last thing I have here is a document I wrote absolutely ages ago. I've been maintaining it since, but a document I wrote absolutely ages ago on what I need on my Ubuntu system. So I've got commands here, uh, list of all the different settings. So at the top here I have the repositories I want to add. Yes, add app to repository. And what I'm doing here with this echo line is putting in the comment for the software sources. I'll just show you what that means. Other software. You'll see here it's got a name against the repository rather than the whole repository list like that. And that's quite a lot of repositories I have on my system. And I've gradually been keeping a track of this throughout all the systems I've used. Opening up the terminal, I'll show you the location of those folders. So that's in etsy apt sources.list.d. I'll do gedits to show you what they're like. Uh, let's take the uh, voco screen one. And it just contains like a single line, so deb, the address of it. The version of Ubuntu, just the word main, and then the comment. Simply what that's doing there. Variable lsb release dash cs puts in the variable name of the system. So shorthand variable name for Ubuntu 1304 is raring. That's what that puts in. It's quite a nice, neat little trick, which I've used for some time now. The virtual box one is slightly different but you can see those instructions on the VirtualBox web page. And literally I've got all the commands here I would need to build up the system. The backing up of the package list, I don't really do that anymore now because you can end up with surplus packages between the systems, between different versions of Ubuntu that you don't necessarily want to keep hold of now. This tutorial guide is not just for my main system, it's got all the systems that I've built in here. So yeah, 37 pages, it's quite a bit, but there's a lot of terminal configurations here. Um, I'll note down some of the settings for styling. If you have gconf editor installed and have made changes, again there's a video on my channel about the transparency, so that's dconf editor org compiz gwd. You've got the bar at the top of the application, it's different transparency depending which one's active and which one's at the background. So yeah, I note, note all those down. Some of the keyboard shortcuts. Compiz settings as well. That took me a long time to write all those down. So I keep them fairly similar between different versions of Ubuntu, just because I've built up a style that I like. That really is about it. Um, all the application listing, I'm sure you can get this one here. Filter results and filter that into the likes of internet. And I've just gone and write, written those down. So that's what I do to get ready for upgrading my system. 
So when it comes to reinstalling, it's just a reverse of all that, putting all the terminal commands that are in this document and copy all my data back across. Thanks for watching, see you later.